In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your Dockerize application in IntelliJ. In this case, the application has been created using a Docker Compose YAML, and that is what we're going to use to start up the application. Access a command line terminal by clicking this tab at the bottom here that says terminal. And from here, we can just run a run of the mail um, Docker Compose command to start up the application. And this application consists of two services. It's a Keycloak service and uh, the database that supports a Keycloak application. Okay, so this is failing because I am not in the same folder as my Docker Compose. So I need to be in the app folder. And if I run this, I'm open another tab here and just check on this. All right, so we see the running. Yep, so the, run, the server is running. So this looks like it is ready to accept some connections. So what I want to do is that I want to access it using one of these ports. Since the Keycloak container, we should see the Keycloak admin console when I access one of these ports. So let's do that. All right, looks like it's running. So that is one way that you can access, or rather that you can start up the application is by using the Docker Compose app in this terminal. However, as you can see, this is pretty much what I want to say, what I want to call like a live application, because if I close this by doing a control C, it's going to shut down the application, which is not something we, you know, perhaps you don't want that, want the application to run even when we close any of these terminals. So if I do this command C, see that shuts down the containers. And now if I come back to the application and try and load it, it fails because I terminated it. Instead, what I want to do is that I want to run this Docker Compose and have the containers run in the background. So what I can do is run the same command, but add a hyphen B option, which means detach. So the containers are now going to run in the background and me closing anything in here will not shut down those containers. So let's do that. Okay, so now looks like it's complete. Let me just verify, see the boat running. And now as you can see, I'm not seeing these logs anymore because the containers are not running in the background. And so if, even if I did control C, nothing's going to happen. Um, so this is running, but let's just verify again. Let's go to the browser, I'll just reload this and it's back up running. Now, if I want to see the logs, we can just do that by finding the container name and uh, invoking the Docker logs command. So let's just find the container name that we want. In this case, it's this. And I will do, let's tail the logs. And we can see the logs here. The other way that you can run Docker Compose application is by adding a configuration in IntelliJ. And you do that by coming here and coming to edit configurations. And we click on this plus and let's look for Docker in here. So we have Docker and we want to compose. And let's just name this config, okay, Docker app config. And then the compose file that we want to use to run, let's find it in the directory. Come to app, Docker compose the one we want, open. Apply those changes. Now if you come to run and say run, now we can see it. Same thing that was in the terminal, we're seeing the same logs in here. And if you open up some of these um, options that we have on the left, we can see everything about the images, containers, networks, volumes that are in this Docker Compose file. All right, it looks like it's connected. Yep, and if you come in here, we see show log and we can see the same logs again and we can see the application is running. And to verify again, let's just reload this page and it loads.